it is like so late right now in Perth but I'm trying to back up as many videos as I can before I go to New York because from New York as soon as I come back I'm going to Bali for like two weeks so I need to get all my content done so it's literally like I think it's about let's see yeah it's like 10 30 p.m right now but doing it for you guys. Today I'm going to be filming uh, my top five wait I think I have five one two three four five one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have five, so yeah, I have five and one honorable mention of my man killer fragrances. I have done the work. I've asked all my friends, all my guy friends, and I've got five with one honorable mention. I have five fragrances and one honor honorable mention of the sexiest man killer fragrances that literally every single guy I asked loves. I'm actually going to do a video as well with a few of these fragrances asking in public because I want you guys to see the, on, the like the honest genuine reactions because truly 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 out of my entire collection these five six fragrances are the best of the best when it comes to men. These are what they like the absolute most so I'm excited to share it with you guys. So let's get into it. My honorable mention is from Maison Francis Kirkshaw and this is Baccarat Rouge 540. Now this one, there was probably about two guys out of the 15 that I asked that didn't really like this. For the most part, this was a total winner. And honestly, most people that own this fragrance will tell you how many compliments they receive when they wear it. To me, this is very sweet. Sweet, woody. It's got like this uh, sugary sort of smell to it, like a caramelized, burnt sugar it kind of smells like burnt sugar to me and it is super 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 strong like you do not need to overspray this one at all it would i think it's just too much if you spray it more than like three times it's too much so my advice is spray one to two and it is magical you're going to get so many compliments with this fragrance that it's insane uh to be honest like to be honest it's very popular now like this is like such a huge seller so i kind of don't like to wear it that much but the fragrance itself is incredible and men absolutely love it because in my opinion men either like really sweet fragrances or really fresh fragrances uh, i feel like it's kind of the same with girls with guys like with our you know preference on men's cologne a girl will either really like the fresh stuff or the sweet stuff and that's kind of how it is for women as well um, so that is my honorable mention right here. Okay, so now going into the list, uh, there's no order. All of these are absolute man killer fragrances. Carolina Herrera, Good Girl, the shoe perfume. Now, I've worn this fragrance since I was 18 years old or around that time when I was like going out partying and I was clubbing. And I cannot tell you guys how many compliments I used to get on this scent from men literally just from men guys will go insane over this fragrance and i've asked so many different guys what they think of this because i personally it's not my favorite fragrance like it's not my personal favorite scent that i want to wear every time i go out but it works so well like so well with the opposite sex it's insane so how does it smell to me it's kind of like a musky floral but not floral in an obvious way maybe that's why guys like it so much because it has like this musky cacao chocolatey um maybe a bit of coffee or something in there some sweetness some tonka bean but there is a tiny bit of a floral aspect in there i think there's some jasmine but it's not obvious yeah like the jasmine is really well covered with those sweeter notes and the tonka bean but it definitely has to me a sort of musky manly smell to this scent maybe that's why guys like it so much i have no idea but truly this is a killer of course delina especially when i was in Cannes and i was wearing delina a lot i literally every single man was truly 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 in love with the scent delina to me embodies like femininity like it is the perfect beautiful woman like it yeah it really 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 is to me it has a freshness to it there's definitely like a fresh sort of smell in there like a fresh bouquet of like peonies and pink roses and it's fluffy it's it's plush it's velvety it's beautiful it's smooth 
very 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 beautiful fragrance and it's like cat catnip like i would so say i would definitely say it is totally like catnip for men so delina from parfum de mali you guys know i've talked about it for so long but this scent i swear to you guys you cannot go wrong wearing this around a guy if you're going on a date in the daytime in the nighttime spring summer autumn winter whenever you're going on a date if you wear delina you're good i also want to say i keep mentioning it but i want you guys to have the chance to try uh, Delina if you can't afford it because it's an expensive fragrance get the uh, hair mist I was gonna say the body mist get the hair mist um, it's around 50 US dollars I think so still pretty pricey but it'll give you guys the chance to sample the scent see if you like it spray it in your hair spray it on your body try it out see if you like it and then maybe you can save up or ask a family member for Christmas or something like that next fragrance is actually newer to my collection I had a sample of this when it first came out I really loved it I'm not gonna lie I loved the scent but I just didn't end up getting a bottle because like I said I'm more into my niche fragrances but Christian Dior hypnotic poison wait no no <laughs> hypnotic poison poison girl eau de toilette now, I have a friend of mine and he knows obviously what I do with YouTube. He smelled almost every single fragrance in my collection. I would say 99.9% .9 of my fragrances, he smelled them all. And he has about four favorites of my collection, which I won't say right now, but he told me, Demi, 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 <laughs> whatever you're wearing right now is the best fragrance that you've ever worn ever what is it and I said I just got it it's from Christian Dior it's Poison Girl Eau de Toilette he goes truly out of every single fragrance that you've worn around me that is the best fragrance ever so that is my story of this fragrance and I know oh my god so many men so many men are obsessed with the scent of Poison Girl especially the eau de toilette. When you first spray it, it comes out with a pretty um, intense like orange note and there's definitely like a powderiness to it. As it dries down, you get the beautiful, sweet, feminine, sexy, delicious, not too gourmand, but it's definitely gourmand. Uh, it still remains, it kind of still remains that little bit of like a, a powdery sort of smell, but it is just freaking fantastic. Poison Girl Eau de Toilette from Dior. Trust me on this one. Wear this around your guy. He won't get his hands off you. Okay, so the next fragrance is Guerlain, Mon Guerlain. Of course, this is the other fragrance. So I said I had four that my friend is like, that is the best fragrance. The Poison Girl was like his number one ever, period. His number two is Mon Guerlain. It's beautiful. It's kind of got this clean little soapiness to it, just like a little bit, like a cleanness. But there's a beautiful, beautiful sweetness from the vanilla, the tonka bean. I don't get the tonka bean, I just get the vanilla in here. And it's got a beautiful kind of aromatic lavender sort of touch to it as well. Slightly powdery, but it is just... It's beautiful. That's all I can say. The Poison Girl, I would say, is probably more sexy because it's kind of got that edible touch to it. It's it's delicious, whereas the Mon Guerlain is more beautiful. And guys, seriously love this scent. I can't even tell you guys how many people have complimented me, guys, when I wear this scent. So Mon Guerlain from Guerlain, you can see how much I've worn of this one. It's a fantastic fragrance. Okay, and then... The final fragrance. Now, the final fragrance is the most expensive fragrance I think that I own. I think it's the most expensive. I asked five guys what they thought of this scent because I didn't want to just think it was me that was like, this is so sexy. They all were head over heels for this fragrance. So this one, like I said, is a lot more expensive, very expensive fragrance. This is from Fragrance du Bois and this is Oud June Intense. Wow, we. I said this before, but if I could create a women's fragrance, I would so want it to smell something like this. It's fantastic. Floral, sweet, coconutty, tropical, tiare flower, like some frangipani sort of vibe. Sweet, like kind of got this edible touch to it from the fruitiness. Pineapple. This, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned this. I'm going to Bali. Wait, did I mention that at the beginning of this video? I don't know. Basically, <laughs> I'm going to Bali for two weeks. This is coming with me. 
This to me is Bali Tropical Maldives or Maldives Bora Bora Hawaii into a bottle. It is incredible and I cannot wait to wear it. Like I think it'll play so beautifully in the heat. Super sexy fragrance. Oud June Intense. So that is it you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my five, six <laughs> man killer fragrances. Those six fragrances are the most most attractive to men. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.